Greetings, newcomers and fellow devout listeners to the show. If you have made it this far, I've just made it to... This is actually episode three of the third season. And so I have prepared a gigantic laundry list of stuff to talk about on this episode. Uh, It was actually supposed to be an interview episode, but I had some technical difficulties, the malfunctioning of my microphone. Evidently, the microphone app does not work well with recording a phone conversation. So I had a whole talk with a bunch of, about a bunch of stuff with a couple artists we had a three-way call with, and uh, the whole thing's gone. So it was, it was entirely frustrating and too, and just too honestly too much to even try to ask about doing it again. And it was, I require the co- cooperation of the other people that want to be on the show too. But it was good though. I did really enjoy the conversation. It was great to have. Uh, specific stuff on this episode. This this episode is really going to be. You can contrast this to all my social media posts recently. It's just going to be a dumping, an unloading, unleashing of all kinds of stuff that's been on my mind lately. With uh, here and there, maybe a few interesting things that you might be interested in hearing. But let's uh, let's go ahead and dig in. To this thing and see how it and see, see how it turns out. Also, on the end of this episode, I'm going to feature the opening track of my uh, the first edition of the double EP that I just released last week. It has now one week old, so I'm going to close out with that. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Let it roar. Fuck emphasis and fuck philosophy, or at least the sharing of it. I, uh, I actually re-emphasis is what I meant to say. I meant to say re-emphasis. Emphasis is good. Going over things too many times could be harmful to whatever is your intended goal, whatever you set out for to emphasize just going to start off the episode and throw that out there with this huge caput that I have ready for you. It's like going to go, it's like this. I'm going to go in order and just run on down the page. So I had a Spotify, I'm having, currently having Spotify malfunctions with all my new episodes of the shows that I like to listen to. And then I have to go through whatever it shows up on new episodes now. So, going on to the actual Spotify page to listen to my stuff is not a possibility. It, it has to show up under new episodes, and then I click on it, then I can listen to it. Uh, as for the, getting the help and the question mark, getting asking, clicking the help button or the question mark button, and then trying to go through that way, forget about it. I go through it. Get, go through way too many distractions afterwards. I go through way too much, way too much stuff happens before I finally get to the solution that I, I'm not even going to bother. No way. Spotify and all these other, Spotify and all these other, all these other apps that are causing me problems, they can just work out the bug fixes, put it into the updates for me, and then when I put in an update, 
and, and when I install the update, then it'll be fine. Then I'll be good. But for now, I'll just be checking out new episodes under the uh, like a f- feeling like a weekly allowance sort of thing. Uh, we have some more recent birthdays. I I, I don't know. Honestly, if this is fake news or not, but it's under the Meta- the official Metallica Instagram page that Ride the Lightning and Kill Them All just had birthdays. Just came out two days ago, or the day either yesterday or the day before, and that is good stuff. As I can recall, Ride the Lightning album. Uh, getting my ha- getting my getting my hands on those ri- on that Ride the Lightning CD. I told you guys a story two episodes ago about procuring a CD that was important to me. Now here's another one on this one. Uh, I, I I honestly I can't recall if it was uh, a CD that just was sitting there. It's it's a gym. It's a locker room gym. It's it's a middle school, and the thing is sitting there probably for everybody's use. And I just snagged, I snatched the thing, and then I had a copy of Ride the Lightning until either it scratched and I threw it away, or I gave it, borrowed away to somebody else. But uh, but hey. Uh, there's a lot of that. A lot of that's, uh, you know, a lot of that's pretty normal with CDs in general. Now, now look at what has become of the of the industry. We can just stream everything for free now. So, I suppose perhaps all is forgiven. Kill them all. That's. Not Master of Puppets that I'm thinking, but Master of Puppets has all the singles. I can't think of any singles on Kill 'Em All. Anyway, they just had birthdays. Kill 'Em All rides lightning. Uh, I told you guys in the introduction a little bit about the ride the light. Or, I'm sorry, about the uh, podcast that was missing. That I had a conversation with a couple fine young black metal artists, gentlemen, and the conversation's gone. The whole podcast's gone. I texted them, let them know. They're busy. They probably had other interviews to do at the time. I don't know what to make of it, other than I was not interested in trying to even ask of what doing another one. As the whole thing for me was just, uh, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure hosting them on the show, doing the interview. I see where I could have gone wrong. I see where I could have done better. And moving forward and inviting other artists onto the show is where is really where I'm at right now with everything anyway. I'm in contact with a couple other people. Uh, one is an artist and one is not. Try to get them on the show and have let's have us let's sit here let's sit sit and have a talk. Uh, so there's that. Uh, also I mentioned in the introduction that I'll be finished I'll be featuring the finished EP, the finished double EP. I'll be featuring the opening track on the first one of the double EP as it has now turned one week old today. And it's going to be a not have to worry about copyright issues kind of thing where I'm pretty I'm pretty delighted that this is, I can share my creation with you without having to worry about copyright issues as of now. And the only other place that's featured on YouTube is going to have to be used SoundCloud for now. As I have mentioned also in a previous episode of trying to start open my Reverb Nation. As I mentioned in a previous episode, uh, how much I love Bandcamp, but how there is so much information about Bandcamp out there. There's people saying that it's good. There's people saying that it's bad. There's my opinion of it, and that is pretty solid. I I, I favor Bandcamp over all other streaming services, and that is something that would be based on the interface, the user-friendly interface. That'd be based on the money that goes to the actual artist if you purchase this, if you purchase this tracks. 
that goes to that goes with also that there are podcasts, super professional style podcasts on there. And so just getting my stuff on there, I, I have to have everything divvied up. I have to go through the process of uh, having the flux. I have to have the flux, the balanced flux of producing new tracks that I have currently coming out in the works right now with uh, downloading this stuff from the cloud, extracting the audio, dissecting all the tracks each individually that can go onto my Bandcamp. As for Spotify, or as for SoundCloud, that can just go straight onto SoundCloud as one full album, but it's a double EP, 16 tracks total of absolute, um, absolute madness. So you can enjoy some of that. Trucking on a long hair, as this is an extensive episode, I'm going to crunch into as tight of a fit as I possibly can. Updated profile pics recently on my social medias. Uh, and I have always been aware of an easier way, but I'm lazy with it, so I just go with whatever's on there, post up a new picture. But all my profile pics are all recently updated on all my social medias so uh, I'm pretty happy with those um, I mean what I do have up that's been up for a while is like pretty cool black and white style me, me sporting my jacket and then seeing all the big names cover that same kind of style from me like we're on the same page here so uh, in other news for me, I've got to move around more. I've got to get up and start moving around here. We have just reached the point where harvest season is coming. So getting into the, getting into the ways of celebrating that is something you could check out on my social media profiles and my stories. Uh, and what I feel like sharing. It's good to open the door to introduce that I have that there for you to check out and share with you. So, um, I have also just random shit here, just random thoughts that I want to share, like getting it off, literally just getting it off my mind, opening the door, introducing like a opening for it. So, I'm switching from coffee to tea, or thinking of switching from coffee to tea, or wanting to, and then having that be a big deal for me is that I can post pictures of what I'm drinking and have the taste of tea be very much tastier than coffee, but for right now, I'm liking my coffee, and, uh, this is going to sound a little jumbled up with how fast I'm moving, but I just want to get to the other news on other people from me, about other people other than me. Uh, my phone, so my phone situation right now is so jammed up. I've got myself making all this content, and the phone's jammed up. It's needing, like, enough storage space. It's needing to function properly. And then switching to a good phone is going to be a, a matter of not letting it naturally happen anymore, but just rather going with what I know works for sure. And then having the content that I create be significantly improved, or just even my daily life as I deal with so many problems in streaming content and creating content. And my whole day is consumed with that sort of thing. So having the ability to really do more is going to be helpful and less malfunctions. I understand malfunctions happen, but just not so often. I mean, this thing that I'm using right now that I'm even creating this podcast on right now is, is extremely unpredictable and it's, it is, it is a ruckus. It is an absolute ruckus. Uh, 
also I mentioned harvest season, and then it, that also goes hand in hand with the uh, the current zodiac signs that we're moving into, moving from Cancer to Leo. So that's going to be big on dictating a lot of my movements, everybody else's as well, and. All these two are just great threads uh, to establish what it is that we can talk about, what, what are other things that, that we can talk about. But now I want to get into, so that said, now I want to get into some more stuff that I would prefer to have the threads be about. I mean, I can, I can only talk about so much, but that's, that's why I'm establishing getting all of these, this this huge unloading that I'm doing right now, getting all of it out at once is going to be a huge relief. Because I do not want to have these things weighing heavy on me, and so so having this stuff weighing heavy on me, doing it for a later episode, I can't, I just can't do it anymore. I just can't do any of the let me hold on to a thought or a thread or forum for a week or two. It's got to be coming out in a decent, timely manner, or it's big trouble for me and my mental health, so I'm taking good care of that. In the, in the, in the with respect to all of the support that I get, uh, and with how good that I feel about my current project that I'm working on, I want to say, basically ask a question, and that is, uh, am I hail Sataning enough? Is there is there a, a certain level of hailing Satan that is acceptable, that is the prescribed amount or something like that? As it seems kind of like a personal thing and just like th- my own personal thoughts and like I don't let these things run my life. But it's something to ask. It's an important. It's a very. It's a very interesting and important thing to, to lay on the table to say. Hey, well, what is the like? So what is the appropriate amount of hail sataning or, being satanic enough, and, where I am, where I live geographically, is. Is, is where it seems like no one is ever seeming to be satanic enough. Isn't that funny? Like. There's a good level. There's a good level of this is an important thread and forum to talk about. So I'm just gonna leave that out there as well. And moving along with this fast of a rate too, just uh, needing to have you know throwing all this stuff out there and then seeing what comes back, sort of thing. I guess I'm fishing for a conversation as I have had 30. No, 20. What is it? 20, this is episode 29, so uh, I actually wrote down li- later on in the page here the exact amount of number. I think it's more along the lines of like a, a 50 something, 50 episodes in of just me, just me jabbering. And that is, uh, so I'm kind of fishing for conversation with other people here, so this is going to be. This is going to be good. Uh, needing, I'm also, I'm needing to read on my da- on my checklist, on my daily checklist, I write all this stuff down and then have it be put into the show. I'm glad that this show is going to be a great orifice for broadcasting the stuff that's in my mind. As for the, the last one of my personal news here. I'm needing to read Faust again. I'll read it alone if I have to, but there's a lot of characters in that play. And uh, I, I, if I record it and do it myself, uh, as it would be very extensive and do an audiobook style, storytelling style thing, it will be available on the official Vault of Doom podcast YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. On word uh, with the other stuff news here. This is what we have. So cheerio to the personal stuff, at least for now. I think there's more at the bottom of this list. But moving on along here with the other stuff, I have a, a link on the show notes for a recent RT 
France concert is it is the most recent Cradle of Filth concert, RT concert that was mentioned in the other podcast about them not having permission to share until they had the label give permission, until they had the label allow it to be released due to some special specifications that I'm not sure what, but the thing was live streamed, taken down, and then put back up again. So it's good to know that the fucking thing has been seen by me, and I love it, as it was just what could be expected. But I, I this was my special treat to myself anyway, so it's not like I'm going to be seeing another concert by them for a while that has the uh, at least not the same effect as RT I mean honestly RT concerts is really good on well Purchase Night Behemoth was on there Behemoth's show was, was on there so I also enjoyed that one only I was drinking beer drinking a Mickey's and it got pretty saucy over there on that night I have an Otter Spotlight here, and I'm going to just run on down the list as the links are all available. This is going to go through all this because I don't even know what's after the Otter Spotlight from my viewing on the page as far as what I could see. Uh, the first one on the Otter Spotlight is Nocturnal Frost. I've got their YouTube channel here. Uh, link on the show notes. Offski, Instagram. I don't have the link for the albums on here. Uh, Belfagor, don't, there's an album. Most recent album is in the parentheses in the show notes, but not the link to the actual album. You'll have to just, I guess, find it yourself. Uh, and, of course, Immortal. I don't know what I did here. I think I almost have spoken... Almost have wasted my breath again. And almost closed off the uh, the video that's going to be the, the video that's going to be playing the, my featured song at the end of the episode. But uh, with this software that I'm using too, it's just the phone malfunctioning. The software itself is fine. But there's uh, just a little bit of uneasiness when I have to do something, like move anything at all, and then it can malfunction. I mean, I literally did a whole, there's that interview podcast misting from a different app. There's a whole other podcast that I did the other day, and the whole thing was, was gone. But I'm going to pause it at right here and come right back with the rest of the episode. Starting off with Artist Spotlight. Vault of Doom Podcast. Alright, now that I'm back with the rest of the Artist Spotlight here, I think I have some actual YouTube links here. Yeah, this one I dug a little bit for to find the actual art, the actual album that has, it's just under a playlist. Uh, and I think that it's, it's, as I mentioned before, it's important to have the, the actual official artist or actual official label that uploaded the videos when you're viewing the content. Otherwise, you're just allowing pirates to profit off of it through monetization. And these are, so these are official links always from here. Uh, that's something that you can always count on here, but Immortal, and, that, and there's the Instagram link with the most recent, not the most recent album, but the one before that, as I have actually listened to this entire album a few times, and it's just excellent, A1, my, my, my recommendations for sure. Uh, Page Rets is one that I found recently. Their Instagram, official Instagram is, is there with the emoji of the TV. That's the YouTube channel links for the single that I found. This is a folk black metal band from France with the album playlist 
the the playlist uh, of the album of the album on YouTube link available there and last lastly uh, Polish band Zorza with the band Hel or with the uh, album Helvin and the YouTube link right there available for you with the uh, great source for you below that. I think I'm going back to me after this before I get to the main topics and that is looks like 13 bonuses but 13 bonus episodes plus 51 episodes total I mean that is no 51 yeah 13 bonus episodes plus this 29th episode is 52 total so this is the 52nd official episode of just me blabbing alone and I don't feel so bad about it considering I'm making all these shows myself too so it's like uh, I'm not sure why I feel so bad about it but it's the possibility is there of me feeling feeling bad about it I mean having having ghost uh, having host hosting having guests on the host is is always decent is always preferred but not always a possibility so no biggie no big deal um I want to do the main topics now as I think I have to actually either jump into the main topics or try to see what else that there is. No, there actually is just the the main topics here with an outro uh, followed by a feature of the song. So I want to emphasize these things once. And as I said at the beginning of the episode, fuck re-emphasis because it's going to be done right the first time. So non-sponsorship and not... I think I wrote non-sponsorship in... Attempts to write non-censorship. So what I meant to say was non-censorship. Non-censorship. Non-interrogation. Non-discouragement from talking about any of it. It's really what this episode is uh, gotten its title from. As it is, as of late, become a big problem. People getting censored with the sensitivity that the moderators have on social media. has become a big problem. People getting censored with those being human moderators, bot moderators. And then I've mentioned a few stories before about Twitch and then the problems that I've had on not even saying anything inappropriate. I've mentioned a few times before on a few future episodes where I'm banned from places in public and bars in public for not even illegitimate reasons. Non-interrogation goes hand in hand with it too in terms of any of the thoughts that might be plaguing me and the non-discouragement from talking about any of it comes from making the song like that's featured on the second uh, second installment of the double EP that I just released that has lyric the lyrical content in it that will perfectly explain and describe what I'm saying uh, once again, as I said, I'm brushing and breezing on along through this episode as there's so much on it. I have to leave everything as an open discussion and forum topic starter, basically. I can't really go into depth. What I can go into depth for is the future episodes, what they'll be about, and me explaining that right now. Uh, soon, so now I'll be getting back to the music. I'll be creating my accounts and looking at other people's accounts, posting feedback to Google Play, getting developer responses of stuff I already know. Uh, and, and when I did do that, I posted my feedback, get responses of stuff I already knew. There was unsatisfactory results. The response that I got was unsatisfactory under my standards and. Providing suggestions caused me a lot to look at what was already said. There was a lot of trouble looking at what was already said, having to look back at what was already said, and then reverting back immediately to reading in, uh, re- reading that I had said 
that I was what I had said was I'm interested in updates but looks good and then the, uh, the, the those are the responses just being not like not it's, it's literally just just not it's unsatisfactory that's how it's described uh, but getting back to the music I won't have to worry as much about all this as most of the time that's all that I've that's all that I'm going to be talking about here. Music. Uh, and that said, join me here next episode for a more laid back pace where I can begin the intended premise of this third season of the Vault of Doom podcast. The schedule was, very, was, every, was every Wednesday and it has now changed to Tuesdays where anything I miss or didn't write down, I will have time to make it into the episode so I can utilize my schedule publish feature here on Spotify where I'll start thinking of ideas immediately after making a podcast, writing them down immediately after, and then I'll have all the way till next Tuesday to post the stuff. And I can just have it ready to go even ahead of time, like start writing stuff down after today when I have the, the, the notes ready. Friday, the stuff's scheduled for publish. If I need to take it down, add any, or, or remove anything, I can do that between Friday and Tuesday. It's that simple. I also should have an easier time making these shows when I'm ready to start trying out other publishing platforms like BeanPod, iHeartRadio, and Podchasers, as I have also been looking into that, taking screenshots, writing this stuff down, and just sticking with Spotify for now. So I'm glad that I'm aware of other platforms and have been looking into other places to go as I otherwise would feel very closed in and locked in if that were not the case. It'll also be more enjoyable if you comment and create to, to uh, w- so we can create our own experiences as well comment and share your own experience as well make sure you rate the show like share and subscribe and now that the show is done let's get to the freaking premiere track of the first installment of the WP